Okay, so in this video, we are going to be looking at this viral problem here, which says 9 take away 3 divided by a third plus 1. And uh, a lot of people seem to uh, disagree with the answer. So this is what I'm going to clear up today. Um, first, let's just see what our calculators say. But before we go ahead and press the equals buttons, we're going to try and work it out ourselves. So the first thing we need to clear up is something called the order of operations, uh, which is you know nearly always used, but you know there are some exceptions. Uh, I've talked about this in great detail in in my other videos about another viral question, which is six divided by two open bracket one plus two, and I've put um, you know the links in the description for those videos. Um, so as you can see, uh, regardless of whether you're using PodMass or PEMDAS, um, multiplication or divide uh, always comes first. And you know this would agree with the way that we have been working with algebra all our lives. So in my other videos, I discussed in great detail that multiplication and division have the same precedence. And of course, in higher level mathematics, multiplication and division are actually the same thing because of the multiplicative inverse axiom of the real numbers. So the same would apply to division. So if you look at these terms here, if I say 3 plus 4 times a plus 6 times b, we know and we see this as 3 plus 4a plus 6b. We always do the uh, multiplication first. And because of the same precedence and regardless if you're using BODMAS or PEMDAS, you would do the same for division. So if we replace these multiplication signs with division signs, we get to we, you know, 3 plus 4 divided by A plus 6 divided by B. But we would read this and understand this as 3 plus 4 over A plus 6 over B. So that is why we would do this section in red first. We will not do 9 take away 3 or 9 subtract 3 first because of the rules that we've just discussed. So um, this part in the uh, red box, how do you see it? Is it 3 uh, divided by 1 divided by 3 or 3 divided by open brackets 1 divided by 3? Well it's actually uh, pretty simple. Uh, this 1 over 3 means a third and you would you know you, you would read this as 3 divided by a third you know, a third is sometimes written as uh, 0 0.3 recurring you know you've, you've seen that before so this situation here 3 divided by a third is you know is also 3 divided by 0 0.3 recurring um, and you know there are uh, you know a million ways to work this out um, you can Start with this, you know, you know, when you were young at school, you learnt to uh, divide by fractions. You simply turn the fraction upside down and multiply. So this is what we've done here. So um, a third becomes three over one and this divide becomes multiply. So it's, um, and we see three over one is just three because three divided by one is three and it's three times three is nine. Um, also, um, in, just to back this up, if you want to think about it from a sort of visual perspective, I've got a number line here, which it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3. And I've pinpointed a third or 0 0.3 recurring. And if you want to think about, because, you know, I know some people have trouble dividing by fractions. You know, um, if you want to think about um, what's going on here, we, we're saying 3 divided by a third or 0 0.3 recurring, which means how many of these fit into 3? And we can just count it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you know, this thing here is it's clearly 9. It's obviously 9. Okay, so since we do the red part first and not 9 uh, take away 3, and we've worked this box, this red box out here to be equal to 9, we just put 9 into this. This is, you know, this is 9. We just work this out. And from there, you get 9 minus 9, yeah, because there's a minus there, plus 1. And we can work this out. 
um, 9 minus 9 is 0, plus 1 is equal to 1. And that is the answer that we are getting. Um, and, you know, just to be sure, um, if you remember with algebra, we can actually write this in any order and, you know, it won't change things. Um, so here we can do the 9 plus 1, which is 10. Take away 9 will still give us 1. And also, uh, we can do minus 9 plus 1, minus 9 plus 1, which is minus 8, and plus 9 to that will give you 1. So we are getting 1 as our answer. And if you remember at the start of the video, I typed this expression into my calculators, and we said we were going to check. And let's just go ahead and do this, press the equal sign, and yes, we are getting 1 just as we expected. And so anyway, um, yes. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more interesting math videos.